Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. This dental minute is on extraction of all the maxillary teeth for an implant supported maxillary denture. You can see the missing teeth over here on the right. Got an old leaky bridge broken down teeth here. So only the anterior teeth really were savable teeth and the restorative part in the posterior would have been so significant and so costly. And when you're thinking, can I come up with a good cosmetic and functional result? It was obvious that the, the best answer was to extract the teeth and place an implant supported removable or fixed appliance and the patient was good with a fixed appliance. Now when you're anesthetizing the incisal nerve, don't ever anesthetize straight in the palate. That patient will hate you. That's the most painful injection of all. Anesthetize the facial and then come through the papilla between the incisors and blanch the tissue on the palatal, then you can go to the palatal and anesthetize the incisal nerve. I'm also anesthetizing the greater palatine nerves. You can watch my videos on how to anesthetize nerves in the palate. Um, broken down teeth are always tricky to extract. I was in a surgery fellowship for two years at Baylor Dental School after dental school. And so I spent two years just extracting teeth and placing implants and doing office oral surgery and teaching office oral surgery. You've got to have a, a space to move a piece of tooth or a tooth into to elevate. And so I'm just cutting around the tooth with that small long shank round burr to give me a little space to elevate it into. If the tooth is broken off at the gum line, and you don't have any per any purchase point or any space to grab the root and extract it or elevate it into, it's, you're probably not going to get the root out. Then I'm going to come back with a large spoon. This is a really good forcep, the FX13, for removing single rooted teeth or broken single broken uh, roots on molar teeth curating the granulation tissue. Now before you try to remove these anterior teeth, if they're pretty solid, see if you can elevate them mesial distally. If you can and get a little blood in the periodontal ligament space, it makes it so much easier to elevate those teeth, especially the cuspid teeth. Remember when you're elevating, removing teeth from cuspid to cuspid, you want to basically unscrew them and unscrew them to the mesial. You can rotate mesial and distally, but it's just like a screw. You just unscrew them. You want to get some movement before I'm unscrewing those teeth. Now, one of the important things if you're placing a denture, and this is something that's often overlooked, when you place a denture, it's just like all on four. You'll notice when surgeons place all on four, they cut the alveolar process back a few millimeters, two or three millimeters. Because if you don't, if you just take the teeth out and leave the alveolar process where it was without removing some of the height, your denture or your all on four is too tall. There's not, you, it's, your bite's going to be open. So you want to remove some of the alveolar process when you extract the teeth for a denture just like you do for all on four. I'm just trying to get some elevation here, mesial distally, and just unscrewing those teeth again with these FX13 forceps. Those are, if you don't have any of those, be sure you get some. They're, they're really nice for single rooted teeth or if you've sectioned, sectioned a molar into two or three pieces, removing those pieces, those roots like single rooted teeth. So I'm trying to preserve the bone on the facial and the palatal. So I've cut this bridge 
into pieces so I can move, remove the abutment teeth individually. Old root canal teeth are always difficult to remove. You can see the movement there. feeling the at ridge, see if it's smooth, and then I'm going to remove, I'm going to reflect the flap so I can perform an alveoloplasty and remove some of the uh, alveolar process height to create some room for the denture. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. I know you're ready. You are so ready. You are dying to take your dentistry practice to the highest level possible. But until right now, you haven't known how to do it. That's where DentistryMasterclasses.com steps in. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, you will get Dr. Kepper's greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything included at DentistryMasterclasses.com. You will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all of the Dental Minute videos and Dentistry Masterclasses comprehensive cases for study and reference, and you will get before and after photos of Dr. Cupper's fantastic restored cases. All of this, all of this is only 40 bucks a month. It will change your life and change your practice. Go to DentistryMasterclasses.com and subscribe today.